Hello and welcome to this Rhyme Ladder tutorial, a handy little video to help us write our rhyming poem. Now, typically we would have a few words based on our theme. Now the theme could be anything you wish and you write down lots of words about that theme and then you might write some rhyming words as well, creating rhyming couplets where you have two words that rhyme. Now this Rhyme Ladder starts with a margin down the right hand side of a page, doesn't matter which way around the page is. And in the first two words that you have that rhyme, you're going to put in the top two boxes. So you've got voice and choice as the first rhyming couplet in this example. The next rhyming couplet, we have me and free. And then the final rhyming couplet in this example is am and slam. So the hardest part is already done. The next bit is to make up our sentences and we've already got the last word for each sentence in place. So the first line starts, this is the sound of my voice, I am here to give you a poetic choice, every action starts with me, I want a future where I am free. This poem captures who I am. Enter it into the poetry slam. So there you have it, an easy way to structure our rhyming poem using a rhyme ladder, where we put our rhyming couplets down the right hand side first and then come up with our sentences on the left. Try and come up with your best sentences, but another easy way might be to repeat some sentences as well. For instance, if this was a poem about identity, you could repeat the sentence my identity means for most of the lines. A bit like this. My identity means that I have a voice. My identity means that I have a choice. My identity means that I can be me. My identity means I can be free. My identity is who I am. My identity is in this poetry slam. So there you go. Another easy way of creating your own rhyming poem using the rhyme ladder technique. So be sure to have a go at writing your own poem and remember the art of writing is rewriting. So wherever possible try and add a bit more description or adjectives, use a bit of onomatopoeia, alliteration, similes and metaphors and all the other types of amazing poetic devices that are out there. But the main thing is have a go and have some fun. I look forward to hearing and reading your poems in the future. Take care. Bye for now.